Edward Fusi is our in-studio guest right now representing Corona, California, BYU Football Center. Edward, welcome to the show. Oh, thank you. How are you feeling today, man? I love the yellow shirt. Yeah, it's great. Oh, thanks. <laughs> it's time to rock it. It's the summer, right? Yeah, it's time to rock it. you got to rock the yellow. You played at Mount San Antonio College before you came to BYU, and I'm always intrigued to talk to guys when you run out at the JUCO level in SoCal and then the first time you run out at Lavelle Edwards Stadium, can you compare and contrast the two dynamics of, of your first game at those schools? Oh, yeah. For Mount Sac, you don't really have a lot of fans, just a lot of family. Over here, you fill up the stadium, so it's so much more fun. What was that like? What were you feeling the first time you ran out of the tunnel at Lavelle Edwards Stadium? Yeah, it was a crazy experience because just like looking around, having the helmet and shoulder pads back on, and just running with different people. So I... It was exciting. Uh, how many times do you have to tell people that Mount San Antonio College is not in Texas? <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know. No one really asked me that. Oh, yeah. Well, well, the thing is, the first time I heard well, that, I, I, thought, I thought about that. It's San Antonio, but it's yeah. in California. So Edward Fusi is on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, recently, you were named one of 64 guys on the Remington watch list for the nation's best center. What did that mean to you to be on that list? It was shocking because I received an email, and – my, me and my wife were like, what is this? I never heard of this. <laughs> you know. And then me and my wife would do a little research and look, learn a little bit more about it. I think it's exciting for me. Given annually to the best college football center, uh, you're, you're on that list. You started six games last year. You kind of got thrown into the mix with injuries and the crazy offensive line. What was, what was it like playing uh, on a patchwork offensive line last year for BYU? Yeah, man, it was crazy trying to adjust to the new coaching staff and – Knew um, this, the plays they have is really different from Mount Sac, and I think it was crazy the, how fast we had to move. Different. Yeah. What was the biggest adjustment for you? Um, probably the moving fast and going hard. That was probably the biggest difference for me. The offensive line is an interesting uh, standpoint as a football player because you don't get a ton of credit, even though you're like moving mountains literally. Mm. And and you're you're not the star Wait, players. Literally? Well, I mean, there's some some people I yeah, think would mountain like. Be... Yeah, <laughs> there are no mountains. Come on! Yeah. Oh, Jerem, you and your English technicalities. Anyway, <laughs> Edward, let's continue this conversation. Uh, <laughs> I'll just dip out for a minute. Okay, <laughs> you don't get a lot of credit for all of the hard work you do because there's not a lot of statistical categories and whatnot. But you are thrown under the bus if, if the quarterback gets sacked. How how is it dealing with that mentally as an offensive lineman? I think it's I think I like the responsibility that protects someone that's important to the office, such as the office line. And I think it's it's just fun, like it's a challenge for me and, and every play is a challenge. I know there are ways to quantify success as an offensive lineman. You get graded after the games and you have X amount of pancake blocks and whatnot. How do you uh know if you had a really good game? How do you quantify success? Uh, uh I would say end of the game how I feel, and uh, my wife would tell me stuff. My mom. Oh, no, is she is she yeah. critiquing you, you from good. the sidelines? Yeah, my wife and my or my dad will just call me after the game. It's like, oh man, you look tired in the second <laughs> quarter. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, you get out there and line up against a 300 plus pounder for yeah. 90 plays. You run not yeah, 90 89.9 9 plays or whatever. Uh, how does the coaching staff quantify success? How do they know who's doing well and who to who to start and who to sub in? Um, I think it's just from based off the practice and offer of practice to see who's doing really good in that spot. So it would help the offense to pr improve and get better or a W at the end of the day for the game. If I'm a fan and I don't know offensive line very well, what should I be watching and how do I know if BYU is doing its job? Oh, well, probably one thing is run blocks. You know, if you finish run blocks, um, pass protection, and if you see a lineman run downfield and making extra blocks, extra effort to run down. Do you get okay. do you get helmet stickers for that stuff? Like if they if you make a block down the field, uh, or how how do you how do you guys earn the stickers on your helmet? Oh, so we have like three, I think three pillars or four pillars, and if as the offense we accomplish those pillars, then we'll get a sticker for that. Okay. How, how important is getting a sticker to you? Because those look awesome. That's part of the <laughs> BYU tradition. Yeah. Like it's, it's really important to all of us. Is just knowing that we did good as offense as a whole. The offensive line last year, we talked about the injuries and, and patchwork and having to play different positions. How does that make you better for year two of Go Fast, Go Hard? Um, makes me better because I have to not know my own job as a center, but know as the guards um, position where they have to 
doing a certain play. So that makes me like understand where the offense is going, the concept of plays. Are you going to have to play any other position besides center in 2014? I don't know if I do. I... You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I guess they have that working for you, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Edward Fusi, center on the BYU football team, not the basketball team, is on BYU <laughs> Sports Nation. Uh, when you look at the upcoming season, year two of Go Fast, Go Hard, what will be different with the offense because it's year two? Mm. I feel like in the spring practice, we have more like, communication throughout the whole line, and we're knowing what we should do. And we, they're having them, um, the center adjust the protection according to the blitzes, and so that's pretty fun. So, Edward, you, you, oh, Go ahead. I was going to say, will you, will you give us an idea of what that's like in the moment? So their linebackers, the Mike linebackers moving around, a safety kind of comes up. So what are you saying? What, what kinds of things are you saying to the line to make sure that you change the protection? And they're code words and stuff? Yeah, we have code words. Not only that, um, if I see a blitz coming from one side, then I'll call it to that side. And I think it's fun because you, as a center, you don't – oh, you see the QB reading for the defense – for me, I get to read the defense a little bit faster than him because I have to make the adjustment before he says hike. So it's pretty fun. You're a very soft-spoken guy, as, as we're finding out right now. In the heat of the moment, in the battle, when you're calling out different uh, protections and whatnot, I mean, by the end of the game, you're losing your voice? Oh, uh, yeah, I think so. And then <laughs> make sure that everyone's on point. That's the thing. <laughs> Do you, is it kosher to, like, point at a guy if you're the center? Like, Mike, right there. You know, you're pointing at strong safety right there. You're yelling yeah. guys. Yeah, so pointing doesn't – they still got to stop us. That's the biggest thing. So if we know who we're supposed to block, then it doesn't matter. They have to go through us before they get through the running back or the QB. They have to go through us. I like that. Yeah, like absolutely. That. Edward Fusi, BYU center on the football team, joining BYU Sports Nation. There's been this trend of uh, high-profile transfers coming to BYU. You yourself uh, coming from Mount San Antonio College, a, a junior college transfer. Why is it that – BYU is a destination place for a lot of these guys that, that have some experience playing college football but, but want to go somewhere else. Why, why is BYU the place to be? Um, for me, BYU is the place for me because my wife's family's close by. She's from Salt Lake, so that was more the, the issue. So. so you yielded to your wife. Yeah. Well, that's thank good, you. That's a good thing. Thank you. What's your wife's name? Lesieli. Lesieli? Yeah. Thank you very much for getting Edward Fusi to BYU. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Edward Fusi is on BYU Sports Nation. Last year, tons of plays run. That was the focus of uh, the offense, at least initially, was go fast, go hard. So second in the country at about 90 plays a game. How tough was that to have 90 plays a game as an offensive lineman? Oh, it was really tough, especially during practice when we're going that fast. Man, sometimes I feel like I'm going to just pass out <laughs> or – call for some more water or some it's really tough like with your diet do you have to consume more because you're burning more as you have uh i guess more plays and whatnot does that affect that oh uh, i don't i don't know i don't really know about the dieting but i'm supposed to lose weight so I oh, you're, uh, you're supposed to lose weight yeah who's harping on you to lose weight oh uh, everybody <laughs> <laughs> two, two j especially yeah especially my, my parents they're big time okay yeah How's your relationship with Taysom Hill? Oh, it's, I think he's really great. Uh, sometimes I ask him questions, what he sees, and I tell him what I see. And so it's all about trust and, and camaraderie and whatnot. Uh, when, when you're playing with him for the first time compared to the last game that you started, how did that relationship grow on and off the field? Hmm. You guys so, playing video games and stuff together? Oh, uh, <laughs> you hang out? Uh, not really. After practice, we'll talk about practice. And okay. And ask him like if he's okay and like what what I could do better as as a lineman and uh, as a unit too. Edward Fusi is on BYU Sports Nation. Uh, who uh, who grades out as the best offensive lineman on the team? Ah, uh, I don't know. You right? Oh, uh, hopefully. Take the stand. Besides, <laughs> besides you, <laughs> who who uh, who do you in your opinion is the best offensive lineman on the team? The best offensive lineman. I don't know. I really tell you the truth. I think. As a unit, we're doing really good. Like everyone's doing their part into putting everything. Not only that, they're putting their effort into everything, um, such as in practice, individuals, and in the warm-ups. Um, sometimes in the spring practice, it was kind of shocking for Coach Bronco, I think, and for us as a lineman to be in the front line in the warm-ups. Oh, okay. So, is, that a, is that a new thing? That's a new thing. So, did, why did you guys change that this year? Because we probably wanted to uh, just make a statement that we're here, we're, in, we're improving, we want to be better. 
every day. We're here to protect. Yeah. Who's the strongest? I know there's always a competition about who the strongest guy is on the team. Mm. Some people chirp. Some people are kind of le- more soft-spoken. But h- here's your opportunity. Who's the strongest guy on the BYU football team? Oh, Tooney. Knooch. Tooney Knooch. Yeah. We hear he's a beast. Oh, he's In what a... way is he a beast? Man, you just got to watch this guy. This guy gets off the ball really just a powerful dude. You just you just see him just re- reacting, just knocking people over. <laughs> uh, is he a guard, right? right? Yeah, he's a, he's a right guard. Right guard. Okay. He has a sponsorship, I heard, this fall. No? Uh, I don't Bad know. Bad joke. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Speed <damn>. stick? <laughs> Roger Severs with speed stick? Edward Fusi. Old Spice with Mike Haig? Old man? No? Yeah, no. Reaching? Stop. Stop. <laughs> You have represented Corona very well, and uh, we wish you congratulations on being uh, yeah. on the Remington Award watch list. We'd like you, you to sign our BYU Sports Nation Rise Up flag. Can you give us your autograph? Oh, okay. <laughs>